Hi, welcome to Waddle and Snood Farm. Today we're going to go over how to care and maintain your sourdough starter. Some people have said that they get a little confused as to how to maintain their sourdough starter. So this is to hopefully make it nice and clear for you. The first things you're going to need are your sourdough starter, some water, technically unfiltered, but it doesn't really matter if you don't have any, the flour that you're going to be feeding your sourdough starter with. I've been using the Spearville Organic Whole Wheat Flour, and that gives the sourdough starter a really nutty flavor, which is nice. The most important equipment you can have for this process is a digital scale. This helps you with weighing out all of your ingredients and making sure you have the right amounts. The amounts that you keep and that you feed are completely up to you. On your instruction sheet it says 56 grams of each ingredient. That's how much I keep because that's the amount I find useful when I bake. But if you bake a lot and you want to keep a larger sourdough starter on hand, feel free to up the ingredients to 100 grams each. Or if you don't bake very much, 20 grams of each would be just fine. Okay, so now to feed your sourdough starter. First we take your sourdough starter that's been either living in the fridge or on your counter and we may measure out 56 grams. Alright, so that's 56 grams of our sourdough starter. Next I'm going to tear the scale so it's back to zero before I add 56 grams of filtered water. We use filtered water because the chlorine is not great for the natural yeasts that occur in the sourdough starter. So if you're on city water and you have a Brita, try and use that. That's great. Okay, once the water is in, we tear the scale once again so it's back to zero. And we add our flour. I use the Spearville Red Fife Heritage Organic Whole Wheat. Okay, so that's all the stuff that I need to add to my, my new sourdough starter, and we just mix that all together. Your fed sourdough starter will look something like this. Pretty much kind of like oatmeal. And then you can either wash this jar out and put it straight back into the jar, or if you have a fresh jar, you can put it straight in there. And that's pretty much it for maintaining your sourdough starter. So all you have to do is this once a week if you keep it in the fridge, or once every 12 hours if you leave it on your counter. Let's talk about the discard. Some people are a little bit confused as to what discard is and what you should do with it. So discard pretty much is the stuff left over once you fed your sourdough. The first thing you do when you fed your sourdough was to measure out 56 grams which means there's going to be some left over. So some things you can do with your sourdough discard are make things like sourdough bagels, sourdough English muffins, and lots of other things. Or you can throw it out. You don't have to keep it. I feed mine to my chickens. They love it. But if you don't have chickens, it's up to you what you want to do with it. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to take your sourdough starter and baking with it to make a sourdough loaf of bread. The bread I'll be showing you how to make is a simple bread, which is not too high in hydration, which means it's not too sticky and hard to work with. The better you get, the more hydration you can put in, but to start with, it's nice to actually have a loaf of bread at the end of it. So check out our website, we'll post the link there, and happy baking!